Hello and welcome to Patch. I'm your host, Paul James. Today I'm joined by... What is going... Matto Phillips and Damo Camilleri. Oh, Jesus, man. With, with a pencil up his nose. Ralph Wiggum. Or Hobus Simpson. No, that's a crayon. That's not... Yeah, it was a crayon up his nose for Ralph. How are you, gents? Uh, pretty good, yourself? Yeah, pretty well. We've had a week off. That's just... Life when you're having to plan to work from home in the midst of a pandemic, the thing that we can't mention on YouTube or instantly we just disappear. The head crabs? The head crabs, yeah. Head crabs. No Half Life Alex talk in this episode because none of us actually have a platform that allows us to play it. I probably. the game to PlayStation, alright, guys? Uh, I do. You do? I have access to friends. Are you talking about like Rose one? No. Because you might get the Rona from you sharing headsets. Oh, if that's the case, if that's the case, I'll, I'll accept it to play Half Life. Yeah, okay, fair Half-Life. enough. I'm hearing it is that good that I could I could totally see why you want to do that. Anyway, it's patched updates time where we talk about all the things that we've been playing over the course of the last month or month and a bit. And Damo, I don't. Yeah, you weren't here for our last patched updates, so we're going to open the floor up to you first to discuss what you've been up to because. Because I've had so much time off that clearly I've played so many games in that Oh, yeah, time. 100%. Yeah. I and played, now we're working from home, so I naturally we're going to be spending all our time working and actually... I can't actually, and... see that. That's cool. I was say, oh, I can't see your jar. jar. <laughs> cool. What? I, so, yeah, I can't quite tell what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> I was, like, hoping it'd be, like, you're really cool, but no. It's a 420 jar, but that's okay, because it's not 420 yet. We've still got a month. Anyway... So, I've played four <laughs> games in, like, two months, okay? So, first game, obviously, being... Fire Emblem. Kirby's, you know, Superstar Deluxe thing, just to collect Apple, you know, upgrade my equipment as the free-to-start game it is known as. Yeah. And I also played Gwent Vintage Nintendo. On, the, on the mobile phone today, because I don't Gwent. play mobile phone games. Which game so was that, thought, sorry? You know what? Gwent. Gwent. Oh, Gwent. Yes. It sucks on the mobile phone. I would rather play it inside The Witcher. And yet they scratched support for the console versions for this. Did they? Yeah. I mean, it's available on PS4 and Xbox One, but I don't think they're... They're not continuing the support, if I remember the whole situation properly. Don't mind I, me, I, as I'm putting no, a, a, an antique, a UMD, inside a boxed copy of a game. Just blast for the past from everyone there watching. So look I'm at you sure. two, you're scratching your heads I'm over this sure. foreign old technology. This yeah, is like the sure amount of the whole, scratching I heard like, before from that con- from that thing. I'm sure the whole five people that are older than me will be like, "Wow!" And the rest of the prepubescent teens. Look, AKA that's a fair point. You are you, students. Will it's be a fair like, point. You are fairly old, as more? as you've pointed out. You're too old to go to PAX these days. So. I'm too old to go to PAX. It's a young man's game. <laughs> Don't worry, the, the world has seen to it that you won't need to go to PAX this year, so... Anyway, oh well, no. luck <laughs> has it. <laughs> You're off the so, hook, my friend. I, so, I, the other game I've been playing, obviously, was The Witcher, and I have been enjoying a little bit of Gwent inside that, even though it's still terrible, and I don't... There's no... There, 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 normally, there's some kind of star rating when you're going up against somebody. I mean, I only you only lose crowns, so it's not exactly the worst thing, but it's like... There should be like some kind of warning, like this player is OP versus your shitty cards. Don't play him, maybe. And it's like, mm, maybe I won't. You know, I don't. Know. I could it's see weird. that. It's just like there's no there's no system in it for you to know. You know, it's like everything else has a system to tell you, hey, this thing will kill you. I went up against something that was level seventy seven, and I'm level twelve. I thought it said seventeen. I thought I've got this. <laughs> just I, I, into a, an enemy. Let's, this is an enemy. The, en- the enemy the was the one hit KO. They do have the yeah, skull, like, yeah. Yeah, it had the skull, but I was like, I've killed things with a skull, because, you know, who cares? I've got time. You're elite. Whatever. You just, you know, you can you can cheese enemies. It's yep. not that, you know, and it's like, sometimes it's worth the reward, you know, because by the time you get back to them and they're not skulled, you're like, shield, burn, die. Yeah, if you use the right moves, if you kind of know their weaknesses, you can take on a few things that are, you know, three, four, five levels higher than you. But not, what would you say? You were level 12 and that was 77? 65 levels? 77. I I thought it said 17, though. 
Yeah. I thought that was five levels above me. And it's like, mm, that's going to be tough. But so how bad was it? Probably going to. How many seconds did you last? Three minutes. I did a really good job of avoiding. Three minutes? That's pretty Holy good. shit. Yeah. Well, Because like, one hit would have done the job. Yeah, it did. One hit instantly fucking killed me. It was like, oh, 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 oh shit. Because I'm like, it's, it's health is barely going down. Must be a strong enemy. Like, you know, just still, you know, maybe I need to adjust my glasses. Level 17, but they put all their points into health. Well, yeah, I've been watching an anime about that. It's funny. <laughs> but, you know, no, defend, yeah, health. It's, it's, but besides the point, Witcher 3 is a fantastically fun as soon as you know what the fuck is going on. there it does not hold your hand and i guess that being a third game in the series it kind of expects you to have some kind of idea what you're doing like you know i'm like where are all my bombs going i need to make more and then somebody's like you've already made them i'm like yeah but i have none i need more like have you meditated i'm like why would i meditate i don't need to meditate just give me bonus xp to like no it restores all your things if you've got alcohol and i'm like well how do i get alcohol heaps and so now i meditate and all my stuff comes back like, <laughs> i drink and like, make bombs what I don't... <sighs> and they're like apparently like after you after you out make something out of alchemy it's always there and stuff i'm like oh well, that's actually a really cool system really good and it's great that it's something to discover it just kind of sucks that it takes someone to explain things i guess you know like i mean i'm sure if you go through every tutorial fully able to be there but who has time for that i don't the only reason i get to play this game so much is because of extended school holidays for no apparent reason just you know <laughs> <laughs> it's just one of those things but so i started doing contracts and stuff and you know like you see a question mark and you're like Ugh. and because i've heard that everyone gets sucked into the secondary quest and then they, you know, awesome. they avoid yeah i know i know they are it's absolutely one yeah, fantastic. It, have you done like, the frying pan one yet? I don't know. What's the? Oh, you, uh, I haven't left the you, second. You know. You'll know. I haven't left the second one. I just. Oh, it's not the, the first. It's the first area you come into, at the start of the game. Well, I suppose it depends on which way he goes after he leaves. Yeah. That that might be right. part of it. You, you'll know. You'll know. Don't worry. When you when you hang out in that bar for a little bit, trying to find. Where Yennefer went? I think that's... Yeah, it's out that neck yeah, of the woods. Yeah, it's in that area. You'll work it out soon enough. And then you make, then you make a scene and then everyone's not happy. Hmm. With your... Oh. Anyway, yeah, before continue. we get dead air... Um, no, so it's a, really, it's a really, really, really cool game. And it's like every time you see a question mark... And I've heard that people get sucked in to like... You know, doing all these missions and stuff like that, and like they don't, you know, do the store, full story, and they're like, oh, well, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And it's like, I just play. And I now that I've read three of the Witcher books, the first three, and watched the TV show, I kind of have a bit more of a feel for how Geralt would treat some things. Like, uh, there's a there's a contract to kill, I think, a Baskalis, and like it had killed the boy's father, and like I. You know, I bartered because I was like, whatever. It's, let's see if I can, you know, see how far I can push things. And, you know, I made things. And then, like, at the end of the quest, he's like, the guy goes to give you the coin, even though, you know, he's kind of poor. And you're kind of like, I mean, Geralt would take it. But then, like, the, the thing is, like, take the money or give it to the kid. And I'm like, oh, even though I'm not supposed to have emotions, I'm still trying to be some kind of people's champ. I gave it to the kid. And it's like, I really like things like that. I think it's a really nice choice that the more sub stuff you do, the more of a broader explanation that you get for character development and yep. the world. Like the missions do a really good job of, you know, like the treasure hunting things and the and the Witcher contracts and the notice boards and everything's really set up really, really well. And I get why so many people like have put that so high top games like some some people even all time and it's like um it's one of those hard things is that your number one matter of all time now close to it oh yeah fair enough it's right up there for me too it's up there yeah no i can i can totally get it and i'm really sad that i sat on the series for so long i truly hope for a fourth one and i've only just done the first it'll happen main 
main part of oh, of course i think there's six books well no no, no like but they've, they've already kind of said that they've compared that to cyberpunk there's gonna be another witcher game yeah now yeah, whether whether it's Geralt or whether it's Siri or something else in time, maybe it's a prequel, maybe it's Dandelion. completely moved. Who knows? Dandelion. Um, I haven't seen Dandy yet. I'm kind of upset. Oh, oh you I like it. soon enough. You'll, you'll see him. I like I, I like. Uh, no, but um, yeah, no, it's really it's it's really cool. And then the other thing I played. So yeah, if you haven't played The Witcher, now is a perfect time to play it as you Got spend Xbox time and games inside. Pass. Your game pass. Go apparently. Go get it. Be socially isolated with The Witcher. It'd be great. And then also, yeah, buy the books, watch the series, do the do the works. It's all good. Go quality, down the well. Content. Yeah, it's great content. Then my other thing is I've been back on the Fire Emblem and wagon it. because he's back. Of course, I had the DLC. Well, I don't know if I've talked about the DLC. Before. No, not yet. Maybe I did. <laughs> Didn't I? No. Nah. No, it might oh, have no, been two months. Was, two was, months of I updates. Was, you haven't been here for now. So. Yeah. Well. Okay. So. Let's go. It's um a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed the DLC, the new house, the cool characters, the different classes, things like that. Uh, really interesting. Um, my friend even started his playthrough. He was like midway through it, like. Uh, he started it all over again because he was like, "Ah, oh, bug of this, man! Like, I, w- I want those those characters. I want their classes and stuff like that." I just kept playing because I'm like, oh, I've put way too much time into this this playthrough on top of my other playthrough. So, like, I'm almost finished the blue lines. I am gonna about to go onto the golden deer, and then once I go through the golden deer, I oh, will have the access to all the DLC characters and thing. The sawn is great. The maid outfits are hilarious. Um, yeah, there's a whole bunch that, you know, the DLC added that, I, you know, because I didn't buy the pass until I got story DLC. Because I was like, mm, I don't really want to buy this pass if the story DLC sucks. Like, That's fair. It's a fair chunk of money versus, you know, where other, like, previous game, it was like, I get two whole new games, rather, regardless of them being Echoes or whatever. It was incredible. Like, I'd value. buy the sh- Super I'd, value. You know? Yeah, and like you know, you could buy the weapons one, which wasn't great much value, but you know, I think you could buy things that were interesting. But this one, it was kind of like nothing selling me, nothing selling me. Like it's it's there, and then that story DLC came out. I saw uh, Pro ZD talk about it, and he really liked it. And I'm like, cool. Uh, you guys have probably know Pro ZD. I do not. Anyway, your followers your followers might know him. He's the guy that does like. He's like an Asian guy with glasses. It's like ridiculous, ridiculous short. I think he used to do vines, but now he does like YouTube videos. He did one like talking about like like when you're playing a card game and one player has a ridiculously long turn. It's like you know I play the mad cow, and now that I have one cow, I get an utter token with this utter token thing. And he just like it's like a ten minute video, and the the other person's sitting there like it's it's great. But like he he I'll take know, you away for it. Out. He tweeted out, I'll share it to you. Uh, he tweeted out and he liked it. And I'm like, well, good. Then my mate who helps on Serene's Forest, he messaged out and said, yo, this is really good. You are gonna, you are going to like it. And it's definitely now worth <laughs> buying the the, the pass. Yeah, the pass goes, because it gave you a bunch of renown. And that came in super handy for the DLC. Like, ah, oh, clever. Like, they kind of built it up in this, like, weird little way. And then I'm like, there you go. It's like that's that's cool. I can respect that. So yeah, and that's all I've been playing. Like, so went for five minutes on my mobile before I went. Ugh, that was two gig. I think um, <laughs> two gig for a phone game. Yeah, that's not that's, that's not ridiculous these days, mate. I played there's, there's... Lappy Bird, which is like ten meg. Shove it. Yeah, no, but it's not it's not ridiculous these days. Yes, I know Flappy Bird is still. Well, no one in their right mind plays Flappy Bird anymore, but it's small, so I, I'll give you that. Was there a app, wasn't there there like a Snapchat thing of Flappy Bird once? Oh, really? Did, Probably. Yeah, you know, where you used to use your, like, your head to go up and down. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember that. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 so that's it. And yeah, those things. And the Witchers kept me heaps of company. And, and we'll continue to do so for the next six months. It's going to be the new thing where we're just going to be yeah, and Damo's played The Witcher, whatever. Have you got the 
full DLC yeah, as well. The, yeah, the game of the yeah. year. Oh, you. You're going to be there for a long time. Yeah, Six more months. I, 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 that's what I hope. I think it might be right one of my holiday games. I think it might it's be one of my holiday games. close to a 200 hour game. Yeah. That's fine. Like yeah. I, I will probably put in 200 hours this holidays. Like, Champion. Get... Oh. I don't want to you. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll go through a few short ones that I've played. So I played a bit more Apex. We all know about that. Yeah, so another month. Are you still playing Apex? On. Yeah. Apex is Meadows. Yeah, that's cool, man. Fire Rumble. Yeah. True. Uh, True. But I, I did go off for three months. So I know David went off Fire Rumble for three months as well, didn't he? I did. We all have yeah, our breaks. Yeah, but he'd also been on it for 16 years beforehand. Oh, well. It's always so, time for a rest somewhere. Yeah. Uh, Tried to get back into Astral Chains and then just oh. lost interest. Oh, really? I didn't really like lose interest. I just got... Let's just say... Yeah, let's just say there were better games to play. The Doom Slayer came along. The Doom Slayer came back. Uh, then, as Damien was playing uh, The Witcher, I decided to do a little bit more of Shitty Witcher. Oh, Breath of the Wild. And, yeah, and uh, yeah, I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing now. I've, I've completely lost track. I think I've just rode around just... That's pretty much what that game is. Yeah. Yeah, it's just I've roaming fought... around. I've never done... I still haven't done any of the bosses No yet. Divine Beasts? Nope. i got to find this... I'm going through those all those runes, and then you got those Battle of Strength ones. Yeah. Yeah, and I went to one. There was like the super one. I went, nope. See you later. <laughs> and I you can cheese that. them. You can cheese them by just throwing your bombs. It takes okay. a lot of. It takes a lot of. Yeah, no. Nah. It's like I'll just pass. You, you, you really have to like learn to. Is it parry or dodge? You did the perfect dodge. Probably a bit of both. Dodge. Thing. Ugh. So or annoying because like you do shield, it you and then you. It. Yeah, and you you've got to do like the perfect dodge and then you get to jump in and you smash them with your weapons, but because of, the stupid, like integrity of weapons. Oh. It's sometimes like you're in the middle and you're like, I've got it, I've got it. And it's just like weapon broke and you're like. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, your weapon's about to break. Like, oh, come on, man. You like, go through 15 of them in one heated battle sometimes. Yeah, it's too much. It's just, it's what doesn't make it fun for me. And then I got onto the first DLC of Borderlands 3. I know the second oh, one came need, out last week. Still need week. to get there. I know the new second one came out, what, last Friday? Yeah, the tentacles yeah. and whatever. The the one that's the yeah. wedding between Hammerlock, oh, Hammerlock and, and... What's his um, name? Jacob. Jacob. Yeah. Maybe? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yes. Jacobs. 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 Uh, I was going to say, Hammerlock. if you're really short on money, that first DLC will get you a lot of money because it is in Handsome Jack's Casino. Yeah. Yeah, I think in just like I was playing for like an hour, and I think I just got like two, like three million dollars in just cash. Just holy punching. shit! Yeah, it's you get a lot of money. Good. It's good because that's the one thing I needed was cash to get my upgrades. And yeah, I think I just got to the point with that game where I stopped trying to compare it to two and just start to enjoy it way more. Just not comparing it. It's great. It's fantastic. And then, what else did I do? Uh, oh, this one's going to throw everyone off. The what This game I've been playing. Or just started playing, I should say. Animal Crossing. No, I haven't oh. got onto that part yet. Thank Octopath God. Yes, Traveler. Found, he said yet. Octo, Octopath, oh, a JRPG. No, 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 no. <laughs> Holy shit. What's with the no? What happened? You could play Bravely Default 2. There's a demo out. Just, yeah, but just saying there might be path... a superior, oh, superior uh, game out there. Hey, no. It was on sale. Keep playing Octopath. It was on Besides, sale. He's dipping his toes into JRPGs. Demo, we can't do anything to so start from this. Go, yeah, i got to say, if you talk about the good one, then if I play that one... Besides, Octopath is awesome. It is. It is. It's actually a lot of fun. Yeah, I only just started, though. I didn't know what the hell was going on. Yeah. But then well, I know what's choose? going on. Uh, the warrior guy. Oh, yeah. He kind of sounds like the um, that headmaster commander guy from Monster Hunter World. It's like the same voice. Oh, has he got like the blue? Probably is. The blue, yeah, the blue outfit one? and the sword, yeah. and he's got betrayed by some guy. 
name. Yeah. I, I forgot what his name was. I was calling him Ernie because it starts with an E. Ernie Dingo. Ernie Dingo. Oh, Ernie Dingo. Um, Eckhart or something. Eckhart, or, yeah, Eckhart or something. Er, yeah. Urkel. Yeah. <laughs> I shall call yeah, him. Yeah, we'll go in the Urkel now. Yeah, then I actually didn't realize you could actually get, you do go the other character stories as well. Yep. Yeah, I didn't know that till yesterday. I found the dancer, and then I started to do her story. Like, ah, oh. good dancer's good. Say, that's a very interesting story. Already, even just to start, I haven't even done too much of it yet. Yeah, you can look up the optimal pairings. I think not pairings, but like what jobs people should go into. Yeah, the thing because like not it's that you know well. you have to, but it's like. It's like, you know, obviously it's just one of those, not mid-maxing, but it's like, well, this person obviously should be another mage because they have, you know, good magic stats or whatever. And it's just this is the one thing I struggled with. I didn't understand it until, like, I looked up some things and I went, ah, oh, okay, yep, no, okay, yep. Yeah. Yeah, it just, it just kind of helps helps a little bit because some of those enemies, breaking them, oh, God. Oh, yeah, it's painful. Tell me about it. It's like, hey. You hit about 40 gonna... times and you go, why won't you die? Yeah. And then all of a sudden they just die. Like, oh, cool. But you're enjoying yourself <laughs> overall, though? Yeah, I don't mind it. Good. It just uh, it feels like Pokemon all over again. Just casually go for a walk. And then oh. all of a sudden... Dun, 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 dun. Then this monster yeah. appears or a rat in, rat in pants, which is just throwing me off. Like, I mean, don't think too much about it. Like, if you go play Final Fantasy VII, if you go play <laughs> Final Fantasy VII or presumably the remake when it comes out next week... Um, there's there's Shit, a ha- you, you you fight a house. You, you oh fight. yeah, you do too. I'm, I'm sorry. Did you say you fight a house? It's a house yeah. with guns, kind of. Sure. I don't even and know it how it's gonna look. No XP. It's so mm. shit. I hate finding those things, and I grind it on. Ugh. <laughs> but so you totally can, you can look forward to that. You get to um, fight. You get to fight a house, and you get. Is there an alien? No, how how many days does it take to fight the house? I mean, oh, the just with the, wasn't wasn't a long fight. With a half and a puff. It's a, like it's a normal, normal enemy. Isn't there like a monster or boss in another Final Fantasy game that takes three actual days to defeat? I've heard that. No. Not that I recall. Maybe I heard, the that, off Clueless, was... I heard that off Clueless Gamer and everyone's just going, what? Clueless Gamer. Isn't that the Conan and O'Brien thing? Yeah. I'd instantly at that point go, probably not true, because <laughs> no, it's but coming it from code. But it was, no, it was the nerdy dude he has next to him. Oh, maybe That's it took it. him three days. Or well, maybe, maybe he just wasn't very good. Maybe uh, he had to suspend maybe. it for a few times. It was like three days, but he actually played like an hour each time. He played, yeah, he played two hours. Oh, like. it's Final Fantasy fifteen. Yeah, the three-day boss. One? one where you push the car. Yeah, it says, does finally have... Uh, does Final Fantasy fifteen really have a 72-hour 70, boss back? I mean, there's some long boss boss encounters in that game, but 72 seems like a stretch. Well, I mean, it could be. Post-game. Oh, is it a myth? Level 99. Well, there was... The, in Final Fantasy 12. there were, like, bosses that like, you legit would have to walk away from because they took so long. And yeah. when you came back, their, their health didn't go up because it was like, yeah, we get it. And this is a long fight. Yeah, go and restock, get yourself back in the right space again, and then go and smash it some more. Yeah, it was kind of intense. But anyway, um, Octopath is going well for you. I'm thrilled to hear yeah, it. Yeah, so far. And play, started playing a little bit of Warframe. Yeah? The, yeah. So, yeah, so far. so Free good. to play? No, free to play. So you can't really complain too much about that. Market think, transactions from all ports, pretty reasonable. So Yeah, it doesn't really put it in your face, so I don't really care good. about that much, which is good, which... Any game like that, I just go, no, nah, forget it, I'm done. It's not like that that really rubbish kids game that everyone seems to play. Which one? Fortnite. Oh, Fortnite, right. And there's game another game you've been playing that, yes, I've been playing a bit, but my thoughts are already fairly well documented on the website. So talk a little bit about some of your time with Doom Eternal. Oh, it's uh, it's a whole lot of craziness. That's all I can say. If you play, I reckon if you haven't played the first Doom, you are in for a world of pain. To be fair, played the played the 2016 Doom, and I was in for a world of hurt as well. Like it, oh, this, this is, is 
But a huge jump like, intensity wise. Yeah, it's, yeah, it means like in the first one you go, oh, like, there's just five enemies to start off with. This one, nah, just send them all in. Just yeah. send all 20 enemies in to kill you. Kako Demon's like, coming for you straight away. Even, then you've got, even like, on the easiest, all there. even in the easiest settings is fairly challenging. Go on, Damon. Wait, what? Oh. Duke Demon. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, also, yeah I had the Duke one, yeah. That was a yeah, skin. Yeah, but also the whole weakness thing's good as well. It's more, you have to put a lot more thought into your shooting. Yeah, strategy's a really big strategy. part of the whole thing. Um, you can't There's... just smash through them like you did in Doom 2016. You know, pick your favourite weapon, obviously the super shotgun, and just bulldoze your I way through them. I super shotgun. I use the old shotgun. No, I've got the small shotgun with the grenade launcher. No, no, but like that was, you know, how people oh, yeah, could was, play the yeah. last game, the last game, and you know all the others beforehand. It's like once you get the weapon okay. you like, you just whittle them down with sheer force. Yeah, that's all I used. The and first it was fine. Too was the super shotgun. Now but you have to alternate. Less ammo. But yeah, the it's less shotgun ammo. Things like the Kako Demon, where you shoot the grenade, you know, shoot a grenade into its mouth that gets it in the stun thing. You jump up and go for the glory kill and all that sort of stuff. Like and also the um, enemies with the shield you use your ray gun, and if there's any enemies yeah. nearby, pops them. Oh, it's yeah, it's. I really like it. It's probably one of the best shooters I've played in years. What do you think about the platforming, though? Doesn't bother me. Doesn't, yeah, I know some I, people complain about it. I think it works really well. Yeah, it works great. Like, Especially I think if you I like start stringing the... together during combat. Oh, yeah. But I think I like with the whole map thing. It just tells you where secrets and that is anyway. So you don't have to. They're there, but you just got to figure out how you get them. Or there's a battle up ahead. You go, oh, yeah, cool. I'm going in there with no, with absolutely no ammunition, and then find a bad guy, cut it, cut him in half, cut him in half, find a barrel, bang, done. Ammo one, full. The one thing that I didn't like, and it's not that, um, like with the chainsaw and the fact that yeah, if you chainsaw him, that helps you get some ammo back. Um, I feel like it was a I keep bit forgetting about the arm um, fire thing. Yeah, I forgot about that a little bit too. But the I feel like the recharges for your chainsaw didn't quite come back fast enough maybe so the same with the grenades as well i find yeah. just a it's little just bit too slow. too slow yeah not ridiculously so but just a nah. smidge too slow anyway so yeah, lots well. of lots of thoughts from me on doom so i'm not really gonna as much as i've played it this month i'm not really gonna talk to, about it too much because obviously we've just covered it here and i've got a review and a player two plays and all that stuff on the the website and the youtube channel so go check them out plug 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 and also if you did the old pre-order, which I did, I got Doom 64 as well. Talk about going back to that. Oh, it feels weird. It's not good. It just feels really weird. You play like one and two, then you play that. It just feels odd. It's It supports twin sticks there. No, now though, right? Yeah. Oh no, you don't really need to though because you can't tilt up There's or no down. Yeah. yeah, you can't look up and down. You don't aim. So it doesn't really matter yeah. if you use twin sticks or not. It's pretty much just three buttons. That's it, or four. That's yeah. really it. But it, yeah, I gave it a tiny little go pre-release, but I probably know more than about fifteen twenty minutes. So that was it. Yeah. Me done. I, only, I was only playing it because um, Doom Eternal didn't come in the mail when I got the email for that, the download code. Oh yeah, yeah right. And I, and I also would have been playing um this game that I got in the mail Ooh. today. Middle Earth Shadow of War. Unfortunately, yes. It's a very nice steel box and all that. Oh, no. Except the steel box, they just forgot to send the game with it. <laughs> I'm not going to name who the retailer is because I've never had a problem with them, but it's getting sorted out as we speak. It's but, EB so, or JB. So. Uh, yeah, it was only nine bucks, so I'm not going to complain too much about it. EB it's definitely special. wouldn't sell a game that cheap, so it's JB. Well, there you go. You've, you've, pretty much just, <laughs> you've pretty much eliminated the actual... But it's he's gonna get fixed. God so. damn you, James Bradshaw. Bradshaw. <laughs> well, I, lo I look forward to you talking a bit more about Shadow of War next time because I loved the first game, couldn't finish the second one. Yeah, a lot of people said that. It was just too long winded and yeah. And um, also uh, an update on my Call of Duty download. It's done. Still going. No, nah, oh. still going. <laughs> no, the weird thing I found is. You have to put the disc in for it to download the patches, which is... Oh, what? Yeah. I didn't know because there was no, like, queue, like, queue up. It's in my Xbox list, and then I put the disc in, get ready to play. Oh, hey, you need an 82 gig update. Like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. 
Oh, that's another just... You just need to bring your Xbox over here, mate. <laughs> no, I'll just wait six just months. drop it in with one of us and... We're, I mean, Damo lives far close to you now. I'm not far away. You can just drop it in with us and you'll have Call of Duty done in like a day. It's all right. I mean, I you have, can use my I mean, mobile phone for crying out loud. It'd be quicker. <laughs> it's all right. I've got better games to play than Call of Duty. I haven't played one since Modern Warfare 2. To be fair, so, the campaign on latest Modern Warfare, we discussed this back when it came yeah, out. Pretty it, awesome. It was pretty good. But it's okay. I've got other games. I've got Octopath. I've got Doom, Shitty Witcher, Mario Kart. Every time Kart. you say Octo, I just, I just feel like you're going to say Octo Dan. I just, I feel like that good was game. That's what you were gonna, you were gonna talk about. You, you playing Octo, Octo, Octo Dad. Octo Dad. Octo Dad. Octo Dad. It's an octopus who's a dad, and he's got a trip, but he's trying to convince everyone that he's a human. And so he the whole game. Is, I'll go. What's it on? Yeah. What co- console's it on? PS4. I think everything. Oh, I'm looking into it. Don't you worry about um, that. It's, Octo like, Dad. You, you, you're meant to try and blend in with the rest of society and not, not get discovered it, to be like an octopus. It's like a physics puzzle game. I was going to download hilarious. another game on the Switch. It was Thief Simulator. It was a dollar fifty. I wasn't sure if I wanted to get it or not. What Thief Simulator? Thief, Thief oh. Simulator. So you go around just uh, stealing people's stuff and just watching them. Yeah. Watch their daily routine. They just go in and rob the house. So for a dollar fifty. For a dollar fifty, yeah, it's on sale. For a dollar fifty, so I'm, I'm a bit skeptic about it. Do but... they pay yeah, you a dollar fifty for that? Uh, maybe like, after you finish the game, they might pay you dollar fifty back. I don't you should, know. If you're gonna play something on the Switch, you should play something like um, "Mum Took My Game" or something. Mum took my game. Don't yeah, know that it's a very, it's a very, it's a game. very quick, it's a very quick game. That should be worth money, but it's like, it's just like, some mum has like taken this kid's DS, and then you've got to like do all these stupid things to like, you know, get it back. Like eventually, there's one stage where you like. You've got a Hadouk in your grandfather. <laughs> like it's just so, it's so silly. Like there's a giraffe that has it in its mouth, so you've got to like feed it until it like it comes down. Oh, it's <laughs> it's just so stupid. It's great. It's a lot. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It's actually the first game I played on Switch. I have to look into it. All right, Paul. It's all over to you. All right, yeah. so we've we've already we've already discussed Doom, so I won't go near that. Um, Ori and the Will of the Wisps is one of the best platformers slash Metroidvanias I've ever been fortunate enough to play. Uh, we've got the review there that I did. There's play two plays there that I did. The game is awesome. Go and check all that out. There's a podcast I did. Here's my, yes, yes, I was on a podcast my, for that too. Here is Dash Gamer podcast. Go check that out too. There's an article I you know. This, I'm, 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 I'm realising that the sky and the stars on a Monday night at 9pm uh, projected up there with the bat exactly. symbol there is a, there's a whole... alongside the bat symbol there's my review of the bat symbol um, wasn't, it, wasn't it going going in the cinemas but unfortunate to you know certain circumstances across the entire nation oh, cinemas that aren't, crabs. aren't essential so yeah, you know, head crabs. We, you're missing that Go, go, go. This um, so yeah, his re- review of his headphones. Oh, yeah. His play, play. Headphones. Also, uh, the award-winning dev diary. Um, so, hey, 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 <laughs> sorry. I'll just put that in you're, there. You're, you're supposed to do that, aren't you? Uh, so, I'll continue to roll through all the things that I've already got content out for. Uh, Twin Breaker, uh, which is uh, Colin Moriarty, uh, an ex-IGN host, hosts his own podcast, those sort of things. He's, he put out a game recently. It's a like an Arkanoid-style Brick Breaker game. Pretty damn cool. Um, again, review and video up on the website and the YouTube channel. Check that out. I'm playing Control. I'm back to Control. I got sent um, the expan- uh, the expansion pass for that because the DLC, the Foundation DLC is out. Now, there will be some stuff on the site, but I haven't done anything as of yet because I've only put about 20 minutes into it. And I keep getting killed because I'm, I've been away from that game too long and I haven't adjusted to all their powers again and stringing all those together and yeah, I'm I was kind of shit. Be, uh, playing Doom, then go back to Borderlands 3, realising that there's not a dash. Yeah. I can't forget about that. I need to remember that there is a dash and I need to yeah. use it. Yeah, I can't forget so. that. It's not in Borderlands 3. It really puts me off, but carry on. So there, there will be some stuff for control, but not yet. And I'll work out whatever that needs to be. But the big one that I need to discuss, 
which does link into content that is already up on the Player 2 YouTube channel and the website, is Resident Evil 3, the remake. Um, the demo. No, the, the real game. Uh, Capcom, via, via Turn Left, Cat and the team, thank you very, very much. You sent me a code for the game about a week and a half before release, and I managed to... <laughs> Managed to smash through that in really rapid time. Jesus. <laughs> uh, in, in really rapid make it time. Easy for you, do we? No, 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 not at all. Um, in really quick time, smash through that thing because it's about. Uh, I don't know. I don't exactly know how it recorded the numbers it came up with. It said five and a quarter hours to actually play, like play time, but then seven hours total. Like, I don't know what happened the other hour and forty five then. Unless they, you know, every time I'm in the menu screen, appeared. maybe every time I'm in the menus, like I'm sorting through my gear, that doesn't count as time actually playing, quote unquote. I'm not sure. But um, so five to seven hours of gameplay, whatever that ends up being for me. Most people, depending on your difficulty level, might, yeah, might be in that five to eight to nine sort of window. Probably depends, again, on what difficulty you pick. Um, now, who do I send to? Uh, Matto, you, you had a copy of Resident Evil 2. Have you actually had a go at it yet? No. Nah. So the the you can big pick it up thing nine dollars at Harvey Norman, but you can right now plug plug. But don't, you Harvey Norman for? don't support Jerry Harvey; he's an asshole. Um, what a flog! So, <laughs> Resident, Resident Evil Two when it came out last year, I reviewed that go for the site as well, and it's yeah, go to duties while we're plugging stuff. Um, <laughs> like Resident Evil Two is the traditional horror game where you know you got to take your time, and there's shit that's trying to scare you all the time, and you got to, it's slow, methodical, you want to consider it, you've got to conserve your ammo, all that sort of thing. And then Resident Evil 3, like the original version, is far more of an action game in a lot of ways. Not in the same way that Resident Evil 6 was an action game where, and people hated it, but it's just, it's faster tempo. Uh, you don't have Mr. X, or in this case, Nemesis, stalking you. Nemesis appears at certain scripted moments. Um, and I won't discuss any of those because I can't break an embargo still. Um but there's there's certain moments where he pops up and you know wreaks some havoc and they're terrifying just like what Mr X was like in the last game but it's not it's not random like it was there's actual moments and that kind of steals the thunder a little bit like you don't know when he's ever going to come along when when that moment is but just casually appears yeah like if you if you've dealt with Mr Wild Nemesis right for a little while and you've just you've just finished a big encounter with him you go okay I'm not going to have to worry about this guy for another hour or so at least. And you can kind of go about your business and just pop off other zombies and whatever you need to do, fine. But because there's so much ammo and it's a far more action-centered approach, you don't have to stealth your way through. You don't have to you know, frantically scramble to collect, collect every round and save it for the next big encounter. Like any zombie you can see, you can pop a few headshots in, finish them and move on, which is not what Resident Evil 2 was, for example, where... You couldn't afford to do that. You wouldn't have the any ammo left after a while. And so whenever you're re-entering a space, you would have to take your time and stealth through it and just because you might aggro the zombie and you've got, you know, you don't want to have to use your bullets. Here, you just pop them all off and then if you need to go back, if you need to backtrack or something like that, no big deal. You just walk back through and there's not going to be anything there. It just takes all the tension out of it. It doesn't mean that it's a bad game. In fact, I think it's an awesome game and I've given it a B plus on the site. But um, it's just, it's a different sort of game than to, to Resident Evil 2. So it just depends on kind of what your, what your preference is. I remember when that came out years ago, it, the ratings for it were great. I did a bit of digging actually when, uh, beforehand. It ended up getting like an 88 or something like, oh, well, when, you know, as middly Metacritic wasn't what it is now. But all the publications that did do reviews, whether they are in magazines or websites or whatever hyper and those sort of guys back in the day that were actually still doing that stuff um yeah like everything that's been recorded and actually been submitted to metacritic gives it an 88 now huh. maybe that's not super accurate but i was just saying and it probably no, i remember it being like 60 or something but i can't remember what magazine that was oh yeah there might there might have been a few low low I and, I, and i could a... get that too but I don't know if that was a port to another console or something. I don't oh, know could if it was like a port, port to like GameCube or something. And the yeah, it could be that. Maybe something was something. lost. I yeah. don't know. Because yeah. I remember, was it Resident Evil Zero was a GameCube game? to GameCube, yeah. yeah. So they might have just released them on there. To and, and I don't know if either of you two remember this quote or even familiar with this quote, but uh, 
Mikami back when he was still heading Resident Evil, he actually said when four was coming to the GameCube that if it really like some someone had asked, hey, is it going to come to the PS2? Because of course the PS2 was the biggest console in the world. Um, is it going to come to the PS2? And he said, I'll chop off my head if it comes on PS2. A year on later, PS2? it was on. A year later, it was on PS2. The guy is still making video games and hasn't chopped off his head. Well, do it. Shinji Mikami. So there's a the difference sure, when a big though? bag of money is put in front of your face. Are you sure though? Hundred percent. He. You were saying that he has not cut off his head. He has not do cut you off have his proof? head. He has do made several games since. The Doesn't Evil matter. Within, The Doesn't Evil matter. Within Two, and he's working on. Well, have you seen? Have you seen this man? Is there a a scar on his neck? B. Oh, when the scar is that could just mean he's Tasmanian. Or was it like, or was it like Futurama you... where he's in a? <laughs> he's just cut scar. off one of his heads. Yeah. He, oh, yeah. How do we know that he's not a robot now? That's a good point. And how do we know that what head he was talking about? Yeah, again, he could, could have been, been Tasmanian. Could have just been some, ga- some game developer's head. He just grabbed. Right, right, <laughs> Has he grown dude. boobies? Maybe he's grown boobies. Maybe with, you know, cutting his head off, he's gone, you know. He's you know. being a little bit liberal with the words. Uh, yeah, uh, look, I guess, it's, I guess it's possible. Else in a different language. <laughs> in, in Japanese, yeah, possibly. And... Either, either way, he's still alive and kicking. He's still releasing games, and he lied. But um, that's video games for you. Like we can't disclose these things. Embargoes, NDAs. I'm sitting under a few of them at the moment. Um, that's life. NBA, NBA, yeah, NBA. Basketballs. Sitting under basketballs. LeBron James. Um, so go check out the website for my review of Resident Evil Three. There's a player two plays up there as well. We're looking to do some stuff for Resident Evil Resistance, which is the multiplayer thing that was kind of announced before Resident Evil Three was actually announced. Um, that's kind of been bundled in with it in the hopes that people will actually then go and play the multiplayer game. Uh, I've tried it out a few times in the lead up to launch and nobody's playing it. So I've not even been able to get a match going yet. Um, Does anyone know about it? Or no Yeah, I mean, keep my, all, all the reviewers, anyone who got sent an early code for Resident Evil 3 got access to Resistance as well. None of us are playing it, not, apparently. Um, and they even... Capcom even went to have a, I think it was a public beta or maybe it was a beta for people who pre-ordered it. But either way, there's still plenty of people. Um, and they had to cancel it because they were having tech issues. So I think there's a lot of background stuff at the moment that's basically stopping anyone from actually playing. And that's why no one's playing it, even with the final review copies. So expect there to be some stuff. I'm working with Dylan Burns from the site to do some Project Resistance stuff, but nothing yet. So soon enough, you can wait for that one. But anyway, they're all the games I've been playing. Uh, we mentioned it before, Final Fantasy is super close, so I'm super hyped about that. But um, beyond that... One, is it going to break street release? Let's hope so, because I don't see EB and JB being open for much Nobody's longer with the current climate. going to be there. Yeah. They'll all be at home. If... Because that's what they've been told. Ladies and gentlemen, to if you are a physical game buyer and you want copies of... Final Fantasy of The Last of Us of Ghost of Tsushima whatever it is as the year goes on and throw it through the window um, pre-order it to get delivered to you because if you go in store apparently with it, in the case of EB JB might be more lenient might allow you to trade uh, you know swap things over but EB if you've got a, an in-store pre-order you can't transfer it to a delivery so if for example um, like I've got my Final Fantasy 7 pre-ordered I've also got my Last of Us pre-ordered but um if, for example, that thing comes out and because of our current world state, because of the head crabs, uh, EB is closed, <laughs> EB is closed because of head crabs, um, then I just have to what, buy a digital copy of the game so I can play it in the meantime because I can't go and pick up my physical copy that I've already paid for. Like, oh, it's kind yeah. of shit. So Maybe you can just leave it outside the door. Yeah, but they, the thing is they won't... Oh, yeah, the, outside the door of, e, of EB and it's just a trust system. No one who's going to EB in Sunbury to pick up their groceries is going to consider picking up my copy of Final Fantasy VII from the front. All you got to do is just put a bit of toilet paper next to it and they won't look at it. Okay, that's there we go. That'll work. Pasta, noodles, you put that yeah, stuff there, done. no one's going to pay attention to a Final a Fantasy VII box. Yeah, good point. How's that going to help me get through the apocalypse? All right, uh, Matto, Damo, what are you two going to be playing over the course of the next few weeks? Because, yeah, for me, Final Witcher. Fantasy VII. Matto? Probably all the things um, that you've already discussed. Doom and Monster Octopath. Hunter World. I'll eventually... I've got to get back to playing that. We'll get there. We'll get there. Get there. And what else was I going to play? Oh, um, Octopath. 
the uh, oh, Octopath and okay. Shadow of War. And the game that has no game disc. Yeah, I'll when, get onto that. Good on them for sending it out to you, too. I know, yeah. I mean, good on them. I have no problem with it. Just maybe next time I put the game in, we would be up. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be good. <laughs> Bit of feedback, guys. Maybe, maybe they got distracted by the steel, the old steel box because it does look impressive. Yeah, it's a good steel book. It is a very good steel book. Just nothing in it. But it's okay. It's okay. I'm not complaining. I've well, got other things to play. On that note, we'll wrap <laughs> things up there. Maybe download Modern Warfare. Yeah, finish downloading Modern Warfare. Like I said, bring bring it over to me or Demo, and we can we can use our mobile data or even Super our home internet to get internet it done. Speeds. Oh, not that everything's being nerfed a bit with the current situation. Oh, yeah. so, with head crabs. God damn head crabs! They're, they're affecting our internet. <laughs> um, so if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. All the buttons are down below. And hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted to every new video the moment it goes live on the channel. That includes more patch, the inside of Player 2 plays, like Game Review, Gamer School, and a whole bunch more. We've got some full playthrough series going there as well. Matto, you're still churning out L.A. Noir Detective Matt videos every Wednesday. Um, yeah, Resistance every weekend. Yeah, and I've got Resistance Saturdays and Sundays at the moment. Um, so no one's getting any slots because no. we're taking up everything. Yeah, we've occupied everything between... The, the only luxury people have got, and you filled it on Thursday. Fridays... And I haven't been doing the I haven't done the insider in about ten weeks now. So oh, all your dreams, videos. all dream, dreams has kind of dropped off as well. So it's oh, it's no. opening up a slot, but we're dominating four days of the week between us already. So we're good. And with Final Fantasy coming, I've already got a few plans. So um, yeah. So also visit the website player 2 where you can see all the reviews that I discussed before, and there's also other stuff that other people, by sheer coincidence, have done as well. It turns out it's There's not just me reviewing up there too. <laughs> the award-winning dev diary. Oh, the award-winning dev diary, yeah, right. Uh, as well as previews, opinion pieces, news, features, links to the podcast, the award-winning dev diary, audio versions of Patched, as well as the Play 2 Pixel cast, which is back up and running. Enjoy this dance from Dan. Listeners, there's something to be seen here. You're missing uh, out. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to get more YouTube views. We're also on Patreon, patreon.com slash player 2 au Give a few bucks money. at the lower tiers, early access to episodes, higher tiers, monthly episode exclusives. And if you're a patron, before the Player 2 5th Anniversary magazine goes live, you'll get a free copy of that just sent to your mailbox, wherever that is. Then there's Twitter. Oh, Damo. Oh, wait, you're, missing, you're missing one at thing. At Talks. You're missing one thing. Did I miss something? We are now on Discord. Oh, yes, yes, we do have the Discord, yeah. We've, we've started a community Discord. I'll put the link in the show notes here, both on the podcast and on the YouTube channel. So, yeah, join the Discord as well. Uh, engage in the conversation. There's a little channel there for Patched where you can tell us how much time we wasted of yours this week. It's, uh, it's usually uh, a lot every week. <laughs> the entirety of the episode, that was the way. And we actually did come up with a fact that we didn't know about, which is a bit off for us. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that, yeah, uh, Demo, you're week. on Twitter. Where where can you be found? At Tacos Talks. Matto is mm-hmm. at Matto underscore Phil. For me, it's Paul James Games. Uh, the website is Player Two AU. And until next time, thanks a lot for watching. Go check out all those reviews. Resident Evil's out now. There's hell awesome stuff there. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye. Shaka bra. Shh.